Lord, nandito kami hindi lang dahil na-invite kami pag noon. Lord, nandito kami hindi dahil sa kahit ano. But Father God, nandito kami dahil sa iyo. Lord, dahil, dahil sa iyo lang pag noon. And Father God, right now, we are inviting your presence, Panginoon, in this place. Lord, we know that you are here. We know, Panginoon, that your presence is going to comfort us, Panginoon. That your presence is going to embrace us, Panginoon. Lord, kung kailangan namin, Panginoon, ang pag-iyahap mo, Lord, iyayakapin mo kami sa gabi na to. Panginoon, kung kailangan namin magpabago ng puso sa iyo, Panginoon, papaguhin mo yung puso namin. Only, Father God, if we allow you to do it. And Father God, we are opening our hearts opening, Panginoon, our minds. Lord, it's just between you and me, Panginoon. And Lord, this day or this night, Panginoon, hindi kami papayag that Lord, the blessing, the anointing, Panginoon, the fire ay hindi namin makukuha sa gabi na to. Lord, I will not or we will not let this night pass us by. Lord, do not pass us by, Panginoon.
in my heart. Verse 8, Nevertheless, my brethren went up with me, made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. Sabi niya, kay Diyos, mati pa. Pumunta tayo doon, kasama natin, lumakita ko, yung mga kasama ko, yung mga kasama natin, mali ang report. Imbis na lumakas ang loob, naglagay ng takot, kaya umatras sila, hindi sila lumaman. Pero sabi niya, pero ako, alam mo yun, Joshua, tayo na lamang tumayo. Alam mo yun, sinunod ko ang Panginoon, lumaban ako. I take my battle, I get my victory in the battle. Verse 9 says, take a look at this one. So Moses swore to that day on that day, saying, Surely the, the, the land where your foot has trodden upon shall be your inheritance and your children's forever because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. Bawat tapakan ng iyong pahamig bigay ko sa iyo. Are you still with me? Sa mga lugar kung sa kadalag ng Panginoon tapakan mo, isa mo mga pamilya mo. Are you still with me? Next year, tatapak tayo sa bayan. We are praying for that mga mo. Tatapak tayo and the Lord will give it to us. Thank you, Sige Palakot, at isang pangdol. Thank you, Lord, of this series 4. So, we call it series 4. Verse 10. And now, behold the Lord has kept me alive as he said these 40 years ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses while I, Israel wandered in the wilderness and now here I am this day and now, now here I am this day kaano man katagal kalakas ano man ang kailangan mo take your inheritance sabi niya 85 years old na ako sabi niya kay Joshua take a look at verse 11 and as yet I have strongly 
this day as on the day that Moses sent me, just as my strength was then, so now is my strength of, for war, both for going out and for coming in. Di ako nagbabago. Sigurado ako mananalo ako kasi pinigay na sa akin. Sabi niya, tapos na ang laban. Kukunin ko na yung akin, Joshua. Sabi niya, sabi ni Caleb, Joshua, yung akin, yung para sa akin, binigay niya ni Moses, ng Diyos through Moses. Kaya akin niya, bigay mo sa akin. We have to be addressing yung taking our inheritance. Hindi na itong panahon na para tayong madamya, timid. Nahihiya. Nandulupay-pay. Nakayuko pa lagi. We have to take our stand. This is the word. It's very clear. Sabi niya, Uh, as I, sabi sa verse 12, now therefore, verse 12, this is the very conclusion. You know, when when you read the word and hear the word therefore, even the devil cannot warn. Pag sinabi therefore, it is already a conclusion. It is being concluded. Sabi mo, conclusion na. Kahit ang kaaway, wala nang magagawa, conclusion na. Kaya nung si Jesus na matay sa cross, sabi niya, it is finished, concluded na. Tapos na ang laman. Wala nang magagawa sa satanas because the Lord said it is finished in us, in our lives. God gave the promise. Kaya sabi niya, Now therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in the day. For you heard in the day how the Anakim were there and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. You know, pag pinagalanan nyo itong si Caleb, ang hinihin ng inheritance, yung kanyang portion, yung kanyang pangarap, hindi patili. Ang hinihin niyang pinakamahirap. Sabi mo, pinakamahirap. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for majority. We have to get our, get our best portion. Are you still with me? I will get my best portion. Kunin natin yung pinakamahirap. I will fight my father, even the father, the, the, the most toughest father in my life. I will get my victory in that. Kaya sabi ni Ken, bigyan mo sa akin yung bundok. Bundok ang hinihingi niya, hindi ka matagal. Hindi siya humingi ng madali. Tayo minsan hingi natin madali, instant. Gusto natin shortcut, but Caleb, take the note. Because alam niya, binigay ng Diyos. Tayo kung alam natin, binigay ng Diyos. Kung alam mo, pamilya mo, iaaaw ng pagdang ng Diyos sa kailangan, mangyayari yun. Kahit anong mangyari. Kahit anong hirap, kahit whatever the difficulties next year, get your portion, kundi may pinakamayang sabi niya. Bigyan mo sa akin yung punto. Bigyan mo sa akin kung nasan yung mga higante. Tayo, minsan tako tayo sa higante, pero si Caleb, ibahin nyo. Hinanap niya yung higante. Give me that mountain kung saan nato ng mga giants. Because that portion is mine. Next year, lahat ng pinigay sa akin ng Diyos, kunin natin. In your personal life, in your career, in your family, in our church, you got to get your portion. Do you believe that? Amen. Amen. Palapagan natin ang ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. Very clear. Take a look of this one. Very clear. Nasa climax na tayo. And Joshua blessed him and gave him wrong to Caleb, the son of Germany, as an inheritance. Sabi mo nga, as an inheritance. As an inheritance. Grabe. Moses blessed Caleb. You know, if you believe that God will bless us, if you believe that God will bless your family, if, if you believe that God will bless your, your career, your business, in, in all areas of your life, if you believe that the Lord will bless this church, mind you, church, Without any hesitancy, take a look. As I've said, if there is the word conclusion, kahit anong gawin ng awit, hindi na mababago. Tapos na. Conclusion na. Last but not the least, verse 14. Here is the word. Hebron, therefore, sabi mo, Hebron, therefore, became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Deboli, the Kenesite, to this day, because he fully followed the Lord of God of his life. Can we give God the best clap all the way? Come on! Hallelujah! Ay buti buti mo, Panginoon. Come on! Hallelujah! Declare God's goodness in your life. Sa lahat ng oras. Sa bawat araw. Sa bawat araw.
ito message kung kano ka buti ang Lord sa buhay mo. Yes, hindi. Lord, hindi.
God, let us be the state of worship, the state of expectancy, the Lord, the have the praise of His people. Yes. Kapag natuwa ang Diyos sa ating pagsamba, mamabahas siya. Amen. The Lord will be with us and touch our hearts and 